what's going on, y'all? What's going on, y'all? I know it's supposed to talk your rich boys TV, and I'm back with a, another one. You know I'm at these niggas' neck like necklace, and I'm going up like helium. Before I jump in this video, make sure I hit that like and make sure I hit that subscription button. Now, let me jump right in. Now, before I start this video, before I jump right in this video, for all the Canelo fans out there, nigga, this is not trashing Canelo Alvarez. So y'all niggas can sit here, y'all can say whatever y'all want to say. Because y'all niggas just always just 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 ready to just just jump on a nigga and not understanding nothing just because y'all hear Canelo Alvarez or see a Canelo Alvarez in the video. This is not trashing Canelo Alvarez. So y'all niggas need to if take y'all little nut sucking ass over there to, to, to IBFP channel, bro. Cause this is I'm I'm about real. And I'm always going to keep it real. I'm not about to sit here and just lie to y'all niggas so y'all niggas can subscribe to my channel and like my video. I don't care about none of that shit. You go over there to IBFP with that shit. You feel me? So, y'all remember when Billy Joe, before Billy Joe um, fought Canelo Alvarez, how his father came out, his father was saying, oh, all of, all of the requests is is leaning towards Canelo Alvarez and they was catering towards Canelo Alvarez. The ring size was what Canelo Alvarez had originally wanted to be and how how every time when they wanted to um, get in contact with, with Eddie Hearn, they, when they was used to call him, he was on the phone with Canelo Alvarez and the judges, how they said there wasn't going to be no judges um, from, from the UK to sit here and represent um, or be at the fight to, to, um, to dictate how the fight went with Billy Joe Saunders and Canelo Alvarez, how everything was basically um, surrounded by Canelo Alvarez. Now, this video right here, this press conference, and I used to see like videos of it just popping up on my my YouTube feed, and I wasn't I wasn't really like I never really looked at it 100. percent I just looked at the 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 Demetrius Andre um, approaching Canelo Alvarez and Canelo Alvarez saying. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. You feel me? That's the only part I, I really see. But throughout this whole video, I did not know that on that Eddie Hearn, this nigga Andre promoter, was sitting right next to Canelo Alvarez when the whole time this was going down. So you mean to tell me Andre came in there calling out Canelo. Mind you, Canelo is not your, not your fighter, bro. He is not your fighter, bro. You mean to tell me that your fighter came in there and you're a promoter, came in there and calling out Canelo Alvarez and you kept your mouth absolutely shut. You was quiet like a mouse. And you're a promoter. You're supposed to promote this fight. Now let me tell you what y'all what I think about this whole situation now with, with 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 Eddie Hearn. I feel like Eddie Hearn is trying to be Canelo's Alvarez promoter and trying to keep business with Canelo Alvarez and stay in a partnership with him so he would not I repeat, he would not make that fight with Canelo Alvarez and Demetrius Andre because it's a chance that Demetrius Andre would defeat Canelo Alvarez. I came on air saying a lot of times I don't Demetrius Andre the last performance I don't feel like he could beat Canelo Alvarez, but Demetrius Andre has a lot of upside, more upside than a Billy Joe Saunders, and Billy Joe Saunders didn't do that bad against Canelo Alvarez. He was boxing him great, just like Amir Khan. He was doing very good against Canelo Alvarez until he got caught. Until Canelo Alvarez started um, 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 pressuring him and started hitting his body and, I, and he started feeling those hits. You feel me? But Demetrius Andre is taller than, 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 than what's his name? Than um, Billy Joe Saunders. He got a longer reach and he's a better boxer than him. So it will be, it will be a good fight. It would not, it's not going to end with no knockout, bro. You feel me? It's not going to end with no knockout. But I, I feel like it's not going to end with no knockout. If Demetrius come with that same fighting style that he came with against his last opponent, you know how they say people fight to, to their opponent's level. I'm not making no excuses for him. But if he comes to, with, with that same style, he lose to Canelo. But his previous fight, how he fights, he I feel like that Demetrius Andre, will, he can defeat Canelo Alvarez. But not his last performance. You feel me? So Eddie Hearn, 
he know that it's not in his best interest to put Demetrius Andre in there with Canelo Alvarez because he might lose partnership with Canelo Alvarez if Andre beats Canelo Alvarez. So he's not going to promote that fight. He's not even going to try to get that fight. Demetrius Andre got to get that shit out of his head. Now, let me show you how much ass kissing that nigga does to Canelo Alvarez. Feel me? And i never seen this video before. I swear. Like, this is the first time I'm seeing this video. Feel me? i seen clippings of it with him just telling Andre, get the fuck out of here. But i never seen the whole video. Now, I'm going to just play the video. I'm going to play it. And y'all tell me if this is not ass kissing right here, bro. Y'all tell me. Pues los más importantes me ponen como número uno, entonces hay que dejar, si me siguen poniendo como número uno, al final ellos son los que, los que nos ponen en el número uno, ¿no? Yo sigo haciendo mi trabajo y si soy o no soy, yo me siento, y eso me ha sentido desde que empecé. Cuando era amateur me sentía el mejor de los amateurs, cuando empecé profesional me sentía el mejor de, 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 en lo que estaba, hoy me siento el mejor y siempre me voy a sentir el mejor aunque no me cataloguen como el número uno. For me, it's a, they put us at one. They're the ones that decide to put people at one. I just go out there and do my job. I have always felt that I was the best when I was an amateur. I felt that I was the best amateur when I was professional. I felt I was the best professional, and I will continue to feel that way regardless of where they want to put me. Okay. Gracias. Muchas gracias a todos. Gracias. Hola. Thank you. Thank you. Hola. Hola. Hold on, hold on, y'all, my fault, hold on. Hi, <laughs> excuse me, just kidding. Um, people, gen <laughs> people usually call you or Terrence Crawford number one at pound for pound. It usually goes back and forth. Would you confidently call yourself number one pound for pound? No one says that in shit. <laughs> They do on I all don't. of the rankings. They have him and Terrence Crawford. I don't. I'm asking the question yeah. of whether or not he uh, well, considers uh, himself. Uh, all right. So, 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 so. Hold on. And, and y'all can say that I'm, 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 I'm being a Terrence Crawford dick rider if I want. Like, how many lists that y'all have seen where Canelo Alvarez number one and Terrence Crawford number two and Terrence Crawford number one and Canelo Alvarez number two? How many lists that y'all see? Terrence, uh, Canelo's number one right now because Canelo just defeated um, um, Billy Joe Saunders and the nigga fought like three times in less than six months. So he's number one now. But how many lists that y'all have seen with Terrence Crawford number one and Canelo Alvarez number one? Then ESPN just came out with a list a couple months ago with Bud number one and Canelo number two. And for Eddie Hearn to sit here and try to and try to defend Terrence Crawford against Bob Arum when Bob Arum was trashing Terrence Crawford and he comes in the same breath trying to disrespect the, the 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 person that was um that was that was asking the question and trying to disrespect Bud and talking about no one says that no one says that trying to trying to basically discredit Bud for all the work that he put in trying to violate talking about no one says that when there's a list out there that came out don't y'all see that this nigga is not in the best interest of nobody when it comes to Canelo Alvarez. Don't y'all see that he they want Canelo Alvarez. He wants Canelo Alvarez as a fighter. He wants to be Canelo Alvarez promoter. So Demetrius Andre, get that thought out your head, bro. You're never going to fight him. You got to leave Eddie Hearn, bro. It, it kind of reminds me of 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 um, Manny Pacquiao and, and, and Terrence Crawford with Bob Arum. Bob, um, Bob Aaron was never going to give Terrence Crawford that fight against Manny Pacquiao because Manny Pacquiao was his prize fighter. I know y'all probably like, oh, well, Canelo was not um Eddie Hearn fighter. Canelo was his business with Eddie Hearn. And it's, and, and, and Demetrius Andre is, is Eddie Hearn fighter. And and Demetrius Andre just came in there calling out Canelo Alvarez and he's, he's not saying nothing. His mouth is closed. He's quiet as a rat. He's not going to try to make that fight happen, bro. If he's in business with Canelo Alvarez and, and he wants to make the fight happen, he's going to make that fight happen, bro. But then again, he can't make the fight if Canelo don't want to fight Billy Joe Saunders, bro. So y'all tell me what y'all think if Canelo don't want to fight Andre. Y'all tell me what y'all think. You feel me? Eddie Hearn is a sellout to me. Like, he just showed me two reasons why he's a sellout. Like, niggas, 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 first of all, niggas was even asking you. About 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 um who's pound for pound number one and, and between um Canelo and Terence Crawford 
and you sitting here, you, you shun down the lady, but they totally disrespected the lady. You could hear it in her voice that she felt some type of way but what you said and how you just try to basically disrespect her and disrespect Terrence Crawford. And then your own fighter came in there trying to call out Canelo Alvarez, which is not your fighter. And instead of you be a good promoter and try to promote the fight and try to make the fight happen, you were quiet. But you had a lot of energy to answer that question with Terrence Crawford. Got nothing to say to this nigga, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See that boxing is not about fighting, and it's not about these promoters don't care about making the best fight. They just care about money, bro. They care about money, and that's why that's why boxing is going down the drain right now. You feel me? And even though I love Floyd Money Mayweather so much, bro, I'm blame that nigga, bro. I love Mayweather. May I think Mayweather is 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 probably one of the greatest fighters of all time, bro. For me, if not the greatest, you feel me, of all time, bro. But he turned this shit into just strictly about money, bro. You feel me? So this is what boxing turned out to. You got your own promoter is going to sit here and lean towards the next fighter that he's doing business with and not his own fighter, bro. His own fighter. Because his fighter is the, does not accumulate the same amount of money as Canelo Alvarez. Sad, bro. Sad. Sad, that's all I got for y'all, though. Y'all Canelo fans, don't come under my shit when we're hating shit. Because I'm not hating, nigga. I'm just calling it how, how I feel, nigga. And what I look in that interview and what I analyze in that video and that whole in that whole press conference, Eddie Hearn is a sellout.